My name is Bridget Coley, and I am a registered physiotherapist with Proactive Pelvic Health. Today, I'm going to be going over a few reasons why you may experience tailbone pain. So we're going to start with a little bit of anatomy so we can all visualize where our tailbone is. So here we have a pelvic model, which has our two hip bones on either side, our pubic, our pubic symphysis, which connects these two bones at the front. Um, and at the back, we have our sacrum, which also connects to these two hip bones at the back. At the base of our sacrum, we have right here, which is our coccyx, and our coccyx is also known as our tailbone. Our pelvic floor muscles sit like a bowl at the bottom and connect to all these pelvic bones. So we can see them on the inside there, um, and we can see them at the bottom there, all connecting to these bones. Now let's go through some potential causes of tailbone pain. So one reason you may experience tailbone pain can be due to a slip and fall. So you slip, fall, and land. You could land directly on that tailbone um, or in and around that area of the tailbone. Another cause of tailbone pain could be post-childbirth. Thinking about the baby coming down through the pelvis, particularly if you're lying on your back, that can put excess pressure on the tailbone. Now, a third reason you could be experiencing tailbone pain is if you are constantly clenching your pelvic floor muscles, whether the constant clenching is related to stress and anxiety or a side effect of another issue is a separate matter. As you can see, the tailbone is an insertion point for our pelvic floor muscles. So excess tension on these muscles can pull on that tailbone. And even that tension itself can cause discomfort in that area as well. Sometimes manipulating the tailbone directly can help with symptom relief. So it's worth following up with your pelvic PT if you are experiencing any tailbone pain. <laughs>